there. It's me. It's been a while. June or July, one of those times. The last video I think I did was about Game Grumps Live during the summer of 2019. Yeah, last year. It's been a while. So I'm here to basically just make a video. Now, obviously, I haven't made a video in a while. And I've been really wanting to, been kind of getting back into the mindset of wanting to make more videos. And when I got back home from a vacation, which I guess I'll have to make a video about that, it dawned on me that I really miss content creation and I'm kind of dropping the ball in the YouTube department. I just took a break, I suppose. I've been mulling it over a bit and I really think that I wasn't exactly burnt out, just not inspired in the way of making things that I want. I chalk it up to going through a new creative renaissance, if that makes any sense. I was really enjoying what I was making and the content that I was putting out, at least for the McHugh Battles channel. Um, I think I just wanted to... I was getting bored of the style I was doing it in. I like the style, but these past couple of months have taught me that the style that I was doing for McHugh Battles, that trend is uh, kind of old. So I wanted to do something else and mix it up a bit. And as far as this channel goes, kind of the same way. I was a little bit not sure what to do about this channel, what kind of content I wanted to make. And to be honest, I still don't know what kind of content I want to make for this channel. I've started from Let's Plays, to Vlogs, to Toilet Talks, to a lot of stuff. It's been kind of a just channel of whatever I want posted in. Kind of a reflection of what I've been up to. More like a catalog of my life. And I really like that aspect. So, I think I want to get back into content creation on the YouTube. Uh, and I've been doing a little bit of screaming, kind of, dropped off quite a bit, I'm speeding really fast, um, and it's mostly because I don't have good internet, it's even gotten worse than before, so that's great, in fact, my main computer does not have internet, that one's wired, so, Mostly I've been doing a lot of voice acting, and I've been, I don't want to say frustrated, but disappointed, I guess, kind of in myself. I guess I just hold myself at a higher bar, and it's frustrating when you get picked for roles, especially roles that are paying you, and the project doesn't go anywhere project just dies. So I put all that work, time and effort into my voice acting and it just goes nowhere. That is so frustrating. <sighs> I see some of my other voice acting peers who I'll admit I think that some of them I may have a different angle um, and it's just really frustrating to see them be successful. Not that I'm mad at them, because go them, right? That's awesome. They're living out their dreams. And me doing, trying to do the exact same thing, only to have nothing to show for it. It's very frustrating. Oh, right. Back to the reason why uh, I'm making this video in the first place. Because I haven't put anything else out. And yesterday, being January the 6th as of this recording, I wanted to do a recording. 
I just got back from a vacation and I had the day off. So I thought, yeah, oh, this is the, this is the perfect time to do a recording of a video. But I kind of got lazy and, you know, back from a trip. So you kind of just want to chill out, mellow out. And at the end of the day yesterday, I was pretty upset with myself because I didn't make a video. I didn't record anything. Don't get me wrong, it was a great day. I just watched uh, some uh, other uh, Twitch VODs and it was perfect. I really needed that. But at the same time, I felt very unproductive. And I gotta get in that mindset of productivity. I want to be in that mindset of productivity. So, I knew that if I didn't make a recording uh, at home, uh, now I probably wasn't going to make another recording at home, if that makes any sense. So I just got off work, and before I left work, I thought, I'd bring my camera. Because I knew that if I were to record something while I drive, I'd be multitasking, going to uh, Tuesday night D&D. And this would force me to have content to put up. So, it works out. That's why I am doing this first video of 2020, can't believe that, in the car. Kinda odd. But I needed to do this for myself. If that makes any sense. So, what's in store for me for 2020? Well, I really need to move. Really, really need to move. Last year I wanted to move, but it just didn't happen. Call it too busy, sidetracked. I wouldn't say I was scared of moving. It just went on the back burner over and over again. So, this year, I'm definitely trying to make the move a reality. There's going to be a lot of troubles ahead for this move, and problems uh, for me, but I think it's time that I got out of the same room that I've been living for the entirety of my life. So, in a way, this YouTube video is not just a way for me to force me to be creative and productive and to put out a video. It's also a swift kick in the pants for me to get my life going. Now, this has been a pretty weird video. And... I think, I think 2020 is going to be an interesting year. This decade is definitely going to be an interesting year. By the way, I'll close this video by saying my New Year's resolution is to be in a decently successful production. I'm kind of leaving that up to interpretation. Well, I guess standard-wise, kind of around the realm of being in a game that's on Steam. It doesn't have to be necessarily successful on Steam. Heck, it could be nobody buys a game on Steam that I'm voicing in. But I think that'd be a really good stepping stone, a personal achievement for me, to be in an actual game. So that is my New Year's... 2020 resolution. Alright, Nick. Time to get my ass in gear.